So you're new to Genshin, you've been doing some tin pulls on the current banner, and while you don't get a five star, you do get a four piece Thundering Fury artifact set. Now, of course, I'm joking, that's how I start off all of my videos, and I did that uh, on one of the artifact videos, and just kind of ran with it. So. Thundering Fury. I wanted to do a video on this artifact set because Clorinda's coming out next patch and this is going to be one of her best sets, right? Just like kind of with Arlecchino, when uh, Gladiator is one of her best sets instead of the new artifact set that they came out with, uh, which most people just have Gladiator kind of lying around from doing boss runs. Thundering Fury is an older artifact set that people should have some of. I'm not looking at myself. I don't have a single artifact from Thundering Fury because I've never ran it. But this is going to be phenomenal for Clarent. We are going to be using Kaching in this uh, video as our example. Again, thank you, Soup, for letting me use footage of your characters. Your Kaching is built insanely good, by the way, Soup. Um, this also used to be Fischl's best artifact set before Golden Troop came out. So if you've been playing the game for a while, you still might have some of these artifacts laying around. They're going to be good for Clarent. By the way, when this video comes out, it should be around 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time uh, on the 30th. I am in the middle of a 24 hour live stream on YouTube and TikTok. So do be sure to stop by and say hello. Now, real quick, we're gonna look at this artifact set and what it does. Gets up your electro damage bonus. Uh, the four piece is actually going to increase the damage of your overloaded, your superconduct, your electro charge, your hyper bloom, and your aggravate. Now, two of those, Electro Charge and Superconduct, not good. They scale horribly. Overloaded scales horribly, but now there's kind of a use for it, right? Which is, we'll get into that. Mainly gonna be Hyper Bloom, mainly gonna be Aggravate is what this is going to help. So we're gonna take Kaching into this domain with Nahida, and we are gonna be doing some Aggravate reactions. So because Soup's Kaching is very much built for an Aggravate, she can get the full use out of this artifact set. The Electro Damage Bonus, the increase to Aggravate Reactions, uh, building this Kaching with Crit Rate and Crit Damage. Kaching is insane. Top 1%, by the way. I, my mods and my editor have better builds than I do, and I just love using their builds on my videos, right? So in this, we are just showing the Aggravate Reaction. We're showing that Kaching can make use of it. We're also going to show off the other reactions and talk about why this is particularly good for Aggravate and Hyper Bloom. So next we are gonna be going back in here for an, a quick bloom team, which means that Kaching is gonna be getting aggravate reactions as well as triggering some hyper blooms with um, something with a hydro character that we can control their hydro application, right? So we are going to be using Coco so that we can just kind of drop her jellyfish, do hyper bloom for a little bit, and then whenever it's over with, we can then bring her back on, have some time without the jellyfish, bring her back on and create the blooms again. Now, in between triggering the blooms, we will be able to still trigger aggravate reactions with Kaching and Nahida. So Kaching can still make full use out of this, even though Kaching is not built for um, hyper bloom damage with EM, she is still going to be able to hit decent hyper bloom numbers where it's not gonna necessarily hurt that we have the hydro character in there, right? So this artifact is going to be really, really good for an aggravate or quick bloom character. Uh, Fischl was another phenomenal example of this. Now, I do want to talk about overloaded next. Get to the three that are the most useful. Overloaded scales horribly, right? You don't get a ton of damage. At level 90 with like almost a thousand EM, my Kuki was only doing like 14k overloaded damage, right? Whereas her hyper bloom damage is close to 40k. It's like 35 or 36. So it doesn't scale the same. Now, because of the creation, because of one single character though, this is gonna be all right for Overloaded. And that is Chevy. Now my Raiden Hyper Carry team, which my Raiden is actually built better than everybody else's, except for Cloud's, maybe. I've still hit higher damage than Cloud though. Anyway, sorry, uh, uh, tangent. Um, my Raiden Hyper Carry team is Raiden, Sara, Chevy, and Benny. Chevy allows for some insane things to happen with overloaded reactions. We don't care about the overloaded damage. We care about hitting enemies with overloaded reactions to get uh, Chevy's shred on them and her attack buff through her skill. So it's not going to hurt having four piece Thundering Fury on a character like a Ching in the Chevy team. Same thing with Fischl. Fischl is also going to enjoy uh, everything going on with overloaded from Chevy. But is gonna increase the overloaded damage by a little bit. Still not gonna be doing a ton of overloaded damage because Kaching is not built for um, EM. However, it's not going to hurt now 
to have a uh, Chevy and Benny and Fischl in this team with Kaching. Kaching is not is going. Kaching will be okay with the increase in the overloaded damage, but it's mainly going to be the second part of that where causing one of these reactions uh, reduces her cooldown, so that we can have almost a closer uptime, a better uptime between her skill and her downtime. It's going to increase the overloaded reaction, so it's not going to be as bad. But then because of Chevy, Kaching is still going to be getting an insane attack buff. Uh, the enemy is still going to have their resistance to Pyro and Electro Shredded. So this is going to be really, really good in this very specific team. Fischl might be the only character in this team that is interchangeable, right? Maybe C6 Sara, and that would be my right in hyper carry team, but just with Kaching. And at that point, a two-piece Thundering Fury, two-piece Shim, might be better for that attack. Finally, for Electrocharged and Superconduct, they both scale horribly. So you're not gonna be using this part of it too often. And by too often, I mean like you probably should not be using it. I mean, if you want to, who am I to tell you? Use your favorite characters, use the characters that you like, cause the reactions you like. But if you're wanting more damage, don't do Superconduct, don't do electro uh, Electrocharge. Even in like Taser teams, where you're wanting to cause Electrocharge, it's not the electric charge that's doing the damage. It is the fact, it is the synergy of how characters work together, like Child and Beto. Their bursts, well, Beto's burst and Child's skill work together in such a great way that even though you're causing electro charge, you're not caring about the reaction damage, you're caring about their each individual damage. So, Electro Charge and Superconduct, not gonna be super great. Don't invest too much into that part of it. Invest more into the Overloaded, only if you have Chevy and Benny, really, Chevy and Benny together. And then Aggravate and Hyper Bloom is really, really where this artifact set is gonna be good. And having this artifact set in a uh, Aggravate team on Clorinde is going to be where it shines, which is what's gonna make one of her best sets. So that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, do be sure to leave it down in the comments. Myself or somebody else will be sure to answer it, and I'll see you in the next one.